Last day once again, welcome to the Traveling Mummies. Salamat sa patuloy na panunood ninyo. Salamat po sa patuloy na pagsunod po sa ating mga aralin. And thank you so much for our veterans who are watching right now. So for now, I'll be sharing with you about the arts of learning. So what is this arts of learning? For learning is meant to be a fun moment for every learner. And of course, a joyful and meaningful experience. Both to the, chil uh, both the child, to the children, to the pupils, and also to the parents and teachers. So ang pagtuturo po, yung pong uh, pagkatuto ay dapat ay masaya po yung ating mga anak, nasaya yung ating mga mag-aaral. Kung baga, nandun yung excitement, nandun yung enjoy, enjoy na enjoy sila sa kanilang uh, pag-aaral. So, hindi sila nabuboard. Kung baga, hindi boring yung ating pagtuturo. Kung baga, mas inaasam nila na araw-araw ay pumasok sa skwela o matuto. But of course, at this pandemic time, hindi natin magagawa yun. So, kaya ngayon, Pag-aaralan pag natin, nabubulurig tayo, yung arts of learning. So, the arts of learning depends on the teacher, of course, sa setting ng kanilang ara aralan Of course, sa atin ay hindi tayo masyado doon kasi uh, sabi nga ay we should work with the nature. So, kung ano yung ginagawa natin sa ngayon, depende sa lugar, ang kinakailangan maging catchy pa rin tayo. So, sabi nga ay, parts of the learner's ability to learn, of course, ay unang-una ay yung are the parents, of course, the family, they are the per first teachers. And second na lang po yung ating mga teachers. So, sabi nga po, learning should be fun, interested, and catchy. So, within this pandemic time, it's so hard to teach all the kids in one classroom. So, we can't hold our lecture on a room-based class. So, kinakailangan natin na mag-isip kung papaano po. So, sa ating literacy, makikita natin na nakakatuwa kasi na i-involve yung ating mga magulang. So, thank you doon sa mga parents na patuloy na kanilang pinapapasok sa literacy, pinapa-attend yung kanilang mga anak sa ating literacy. And of course, Thank you so much. Shout out tayo dyan kay Mami Ami na patuloy na although she is very much busy with her business but of course she finds time para makapagturo sa ating mga bata dyan sa kanyang lugar. At ganun din po sa atin doon sa misibis. Yung ating mga kabataan sila yung mga nagtuturo doon. So makikita natin na yung naging enjoy sila. There is fun. There is There's a lot of fun, uh, may excitement sa bawat mag-aaral natin. So, ibig sabihin, yung learning ay walang makakapigil. Kinakailangan na patuloy pa rin yung. Kaya sabi nga, the arts of learning. So, what is this arts of learning? So, yung arts of learning, nagdedepende yon unang-una sa teacher, pangalawa doon sa mga tuturuan. Kinakailangan maging artistic tayo, eh. kinakailangan maging resourceful tayo. Way back, noong mga panahon, ay eh, wala naman talagang mga magagandang buildings, di po ba? Pero natuto yung ating mga magulang, yung ating mga maninuno. So, learning should come from the heart. And of course, if anyone is willing to learn, they could learn. So, kahit gaano kagaling ng isang teacher, Pagka ang isang mag-aaral ay ayaw matuto at wala yung puso niya doon sa uh, pag-aaral, hindi talaga siya matututo. Although there are late bloomers, but of course, learning should always come from the heart. And teaching always comes from the heart. So what does it mean? In all things that we're going to do in teaching, it should be accompanied with love. So, ano rin po sa ating mga mag-aaral, kapag ka nais mo talagang matuto, ikaw ay matututo. Kaya nga, learning should be fun, interested, and catchy. And of course, educators must have joy and passion in teaching. So, 
every teacher should be resourceful of course at this time of pandemic we know that all the educators are very much busy doing the stuff the modules for their students and of course sa atin ginagawa din po natin yun pinag-aaralan natin kung ano yung ibibigay natin so meron tayong modules na gagawin at at pinaformulate na po natin yun inaayos natin kasi yung learning hindi dapat siya natitigil learning is a daily process and hindi siya nababax sa isang room lang kundi yung learning po kahit saan as long as the teachers and the students or the pupils are willing to, to work together ang learning ay mabubuo kaya nga the arts of learning unang una kinakailangan catches yung ating ituturo and of course yung ambience ng ating lugar na andon syempre yung excitement iba kasi once the teachers are full of excitement every time na magbimet sila ng kanilang mga mag-aaral nandoon maging yung kanilang mga estudyante po ay makakaramdam po ng excitement ng joy sa pagtuturo so kung yung teacher ay medyo boring sa kanya yung dating mafeel po yun ng ating mga mag-aaral kaya kinakailangan sometimes maging team song natin yung great pretender as a teacher pero hindi dapat kinakailangan talaga na maging uh, with full of joy tayo sa ating ginagawa lalong lalo sa pagtuturo natin so hindi lang naman tayo nagturo sa mga bata meron din tayong mga ate at kuya so our literacy is not just meant for the kids but also for the youth and of course for those even for those mothers and uh, fathers for the parents who are still willing to learn so our literacy is very much open for them so sabi nga learning should be interested and catchy so yung mga teachers natin shout out kasi nakikita ko na patuloy po silang gumagawa although almost 4 months na hindi ko kayo nakakasama still you are doing your best your god given talents you are using them thank you so much for that uh, for that passion for teaching the, uh, the children out there and of course sa mga mamis lalo na so thank you so much kay Mami Amin at Mami Shi Jing. Thank you so much na patuloy kayo na ginagay nyo yung ating mga teachers dyan, yung ating mga volunteer teachers sa ating literacy. Thank you so much. At kaya nga ngayon, sabi dito ay the arts of learning. Learning should be fun, catchy, of course, dramatic sometimes, and sometimes musical. And for that, Let's watch out kung ano yung ginagawa ng ating mga teachers. Diyan po sa unang-una doon tayo sa Malayo, sa Misibis, yung patuloy nilang ginagawa. Shout out tayo dyan sa ating mga itira si teachers. And of course, dyan po sa Peña Francia, sa Balinad, sa Sipi. At saan pa ba? So dito sa Tabaco. So shout out sa inyong lahat sa patuloy na pagtuturo natin sa ating mga kabataan. And for that, let's watch sa mga ginagawa po nila.
And po, nakita natin that learning is really, really fun. And of course, full of arts, syempre. Nandyan yung arts, nandyan yung music natin. Nandyan yung excitement ng mga bata natin tinuturuan. And sabi nga po ay, parts of the learners na natututo sila, ay of course yung mga mamis, kaya nga shout out tayo sa ating dalawang mamis na patuloy na kinagayad yung ating mga uh, volunteer teacher, kay Ma'am Shiami at Ma'am Shi Jing. Thank you so much for your support na patuloy nagbinibigay sa ating mga teachers dyan. Of course, I'll see you soon at patuloy tayo mag-uusap po. So nakita natin that learning is full of arts. Depende yun. So, full of colors. Learning should be colorful. It doesn't mean that you need uh, crayons to make it colorful. But, of course, what I mean is that it should be uh, it should be full of excitement every time that you are going to meet with your student. And, of course, yung ating arts ay naandun sa ginagawa natin. So, hindi lang puro drawing, kundi yung interaction na ay naandun. Kaya nga, nakita natin yung mga ginagawa ng mga Ate natin, dyan sa Misibis. Of course, dyan din sa Peña Francia, sa Tabon Tabon, sa Balinad, sa Sipi. Thank you, thank you so much. Nakita po natin yung kapatuloy nilang ginagawa. And of course, dyan sa mga mamis, hands up tayo dyan. Thank you so much na patuloy natin inigay yung ating mga anak. Ibig sabihin, walang pandemic, no pandemic could hinder our children to learn. Anyone could learn if they are willing. And of course, with the support of our mama, papa, your aunt and kuya. Of course, if the members of the family are willing to share their time, their effort to their kids, learning is not impossible. So, walang makakatigil, walang makakastop. There's no one could stop the kids to learn. And it's always full of fun, full of... um excitement every time tayo ay magmimet sa ating pagtuturo. Kaya nga, salamat po sa lahat na patuloy na tumutulong po sa ating literacy. So, meron tayo isi-share ngayon na tips, hindi lang naman tips, kundi guide natin kung paano mas lalo nating ma-improve yung ating pag-share ng ating God-given talent, lalong-lalo na sa pagtuturo. So, from Proverbs chapter 6 verses 20 and up to 23. My son, keep your father's command and do not forsake your mother's teaching. Bind them always on your heart. Fasten them around your neck. When you walk, they will guide you. When you sleep, they will watch over you. When you awake, they will speak to you. For this command is a lamp, this teaching is a light and correction and instruction are the way to life. So, what a beautiful Proverbs. So, huwag natin kakalimutan yung mga turo ng ating mga magulang. Of course, kailangan natin yun. So, kaya nga sa ating litira si yung ating uh, aim dyan, yung purpose natin is matrain, ma-educate yung heart. So, the very important thing is to educate the heart next yung mind. So, if we educate the mind and the heart first, the mind will follow. So, shout out sa ating mga mamis na patuloy na kanilang inaalaw yung kanilang mga anak. Thank you for sending your children to our literacy ministry. And of course, ating mga volunteer teachers, thank you so much for spending your time. And of course, sa mga bata na ating tinuturuan. Let's continue to build up good relationship with our students, with our pupils. And of course, yung arts of learning natin, part 1 pa lang to ng arts of learning. So, nakita natin yung excitement ng mga bata. And of course, the arts of learning and learning, of course, will never happen if the parents will not support their children. So, parents and children, kailangan natin to. Yung mga magulang, let's give time even a little time para suportahan yung ating mga anak sa pag-aaral nila, hindi lang doon sa classroom, sa four corners of the classroom, kundi kahit sa bahay natin, let's find time. Kaya nga tayo nagtatrabaho para sa kanila. So, wag mawala yung oras natin na maturuan sila. Our purpose here is to strengthen every families 
the children, and of course, our relationship to God. And, syempre, the arts of learning, part 1 pa lang to. Kaya, patuloy natin abangan yung mga ginagawa po ng ating mga uh, kapatid, ng mga ate at kuya natin na nagtuturo. Shout out sa inyong lahat. Hindi ko na kailangang isa-isahin pa. So, let's continue to work together for the glory of God. And, let's not forget to pray for our student, to pray for our ministry. At kahit nga wala tayong uh, support ng malaki, but let's be thankful that we are given and we are interested with this God-given talent and skills. Let's share them para hindi masayang. The purpose of having these skills that we have is to be shared, not to be kept for ourselves. So, thank you so much. And huwag niyong kakalimutan na isubscribe itong channel natin at ishare naman po natin. Of course, bakit po hindi natin isishare? Eh kung yun nga mga hindi naman uh, educated na, kumbaga hindi naman nakakapag, kumbaga nakakapagpasaya lang sa atin, pinapanood natin, hindi naman yung walang kasenses, ano yung gusto mo lang matawa, pinapanood mo, ito pa kaya na magbibigay ng kagalakan, ng kalakasan, makakapag-enhance ng learning ng ating mga kapatid. So, i-share po natin to. So, subscribe and like po itong ating channel upang sa ganun, every time na mag upload tayo ng mga panibagong uh, Uh, lesson, makakats po agad ninyo. And of course, yung ating pong teaching po ay varieties of lesson. So, the last time po ay iba yung ating itinuro. Of course, itatakal natin yun for we are having the holistic literacy. And of course, thank you so much for our partners in the ministry. Thank you for your support. And of course, doon pa sa gusto, let's continue to spread this ministry, the Traveling Mames. And see you teachers! By God's grace, by God's will, I'll see you soon para mag, uh, magkaroon tayo ng brainstorming once again upang mas natin yung ating ministry. And so, God bless and thank you for watching.